Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. We're tying the grey boy buzzer today. I've been updating my box a little bit, having a bit of a clear out, looking at what's missing. Flies I've put up in trees and stuff, and need a few more of these, so I thought I'd I thought I'd share. So we've got a size 10 barbless for real device, and got some black UTC 70 on the go. So just gonna come in and catch behind the eye. Wind down a little bit and come in and chop away that end piece. Then got some grey flexi floss. I'm actually going to reduce the size of this because it's too big. I'm just going to catch this on the side at this point. Come around with two turns, pull this nice and tight, and then Holding it down, just run it down to a length that you're comfortable with. I'm going to stop about there. Okay, good stuff. Can come in and take that away. Don't need that anymore. Um, make sure I'm keeping my thread relatively flat. Um, what I'm going to come in with next is a bit of red holographic tinsel in the medium so look at about body length to catch this in just catch it on the side and nice touch and turns nice and even just bring this back up And you can build a taper into this at a level that you want. I'm going to keep this relatively skinny. Don't want this to be too too big. Okay, and once you're happy with that, you can bring your tinsel up. Key thing to remember is don't bring this too high. You need need space for the head on this fly. So give yourself that room. And again, space of these turns, all that sort of good stuff, personal preference. I'm just going to wind this up into the head area and chop away. Then come back down to where I'm roughly going to start my head. I'm going to wind the grey the same way now. Pulling this quite tight. And overlapping. On the holographic. And then I'm going to start to release my grip a little bit as I come up. So that these get bigger. Again, a lot of people, we see a lot of people doing this. Because the red is more just there to shine through on this fly. Almost as a backdrop. And again, similarly, I'm going to wind this up into the head area. Just helps add a little bit of build up. Then, when you're happy with that, you can pull this tight, snip, we got a nice clean finish. And then just start to tidy up and think about where you want to form and how you're going to form the head here. And then I'm coming in with another bit of flexi force. This is white this time. Just catch it onto the thread. Coming around with a couple of turns and taking one of these down either side, pulling it down and back nice and tight. 
you can wind backwards you can let that go and then form the size ahead that you're looking for Okay, that will do it, I don't want it to be too big. Bring these to the front, you don't need to pull these tight at this point, just elevate them so that they're coming up and meeting in the middle. And just check that you're happy with where these are sitting. Quite happy with where these are sitting just now. So come round with a couple of turns and then start to lock, so one in front of the other, get a couple of those in. When you're happy with that, you can come in, take one each and chop these away and then tidy up When you're happy, you can come in and whip finish Chop the thread away. I'm going to give this a quick blast with a lighter on top just to get rid of any bits of fluff. Alright, folks, last thing to do is varnish, and that'll be you, a couple of coats. Alright folks, that's the fly with one coat of varnish on it, probably give it another couple, hope you enjoyed that as always, drop a like, hit a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, great to hear from you, until next time, cheers.